roof and wall elements have to meet ever more demanding thermal insulation requirements. Reliable planning and execution of the vapor retarder and air tightness layer plays a decisive role in meeting these requirements. In the winter, a heating system maintains a pleasant internal climate. The thermal envelope separates the warm indoor air from the colder outdoor air in order to keep the warmth inside. This is achieved by installing a vapor retarder and air tightness layer on the inside of the insulation, which also protects the structure against structural damage and mold. Vapor retarders with humidity variable diffusion resistance provide reliable protection for the structure. Proclima Intello performs according to the principle of a humidity controlled membrane, being able to adapt and change its molecular structure and vapor resistivity to suit the existing situation. In the winter, when it's warmer inside, moisture vapor diffuses towards the thermal insulation structure from indoors. In this situation, the molecular structure of the intelligent Intello vapor retarder is closed, meaning that the Intello is very diffusion resistant, so that it prevents moisture from penetrating the thermal insulation. When the outdoor temperature is higher than the indoor temperature, in the summer for example, any moisture in the structure of the building diffuses towards the vapor retarder from within. Conventional vapor retarders can only allow a small amount of moisture to pass, potentially leading to structural damage. In this situation, the molecular structure of the Intello membrane opens, allowing large amounts of moisture to escape so that the structure can dry out significantly quicker and more reliably. This intelligent change in diffusion resistance with its optimum variability range of more than 40 times between its highest diffusion resistance in the winter and extremely low diffusion resistance in the summer gives the structure a very high potential freedom from structural damage and means that the risk of moisture accumulation within the structure and mold growth is eliminated. There's one simple rule that has to be followed to make sure that a thermal insulation structure is safe. To reliably prevent structural damage, the drying potential must always be higher than the maximum moisture stress. The greater the difference between the moisture stress and the drying potential, the greater the safety buffer for building owners, planners and the builders.